Another thank you to Runaway Workshop for the base for this. Um, and here, yeah. hi, hello. I am commentating with my normal voice for once. This is just a video of me showing off how I made Tran. This is going to be two parts. This is me carving the feet paws at the moment. Um, as well as the ears. Here we go. Here's what the base of the ears looked like. And again, me fiddling around with the paws. Figuring out how to do the sole of the paw. Um, yep. Wow, cringy. So, <laughs> yeah. Here's hand paws now. At first, they were a bit chunky. So, uh, af sometime after this, I did fix them up so they were a little less chunky. Um, and here's me just showing what the base of the feet paws was before all the foam was attached to the top. Um, and here's me just a time lapse of me figure, uh, carving out the second hand paw um, and gluing it to the glove and just trimming it down. This is when I trim them down to make them less chunky. Um, so yeah, basically just a lot of carving and trimming of the foam. The foam I got cheap from Spotlight. Here's me showing them off a bit. Um, so yeah, that was. This is just basically all the carving and gluing of things. Um, here's me. What I did. Um, I realized that the sole of the paws was gonna wear away really quickly. So what I did was buy some cheap slippers and I put them in there and then I lined the rest of the paw with some felt to match up with the slipper just so it looked better you know um I also you'll see in a moment um <coughs> sorry you'll see in a moment me um showing off the inside of the paw um, where I had put in a little L for left foot, just so it's easier to tell, because <laughs> we all know it's hard to tell which is which, especially when they look exactly the same. Um, here you go. This is me showing a bit of a close-up, my room being a mess in the background, because this is a messy job. Uh, there's the L. I did fix up that little gap later on and yeah a lot of waiting there was a lot of waiting involved whilst I was waiting um, I decided to start on the head by um, starting the balaclava as you can see now I did make a massive mistake here um, where I sewed up the wrong part of it so I had to cut it um, so that there was no separate nose eye thing as you can see um, I actually ended up cutting out most of the balaclava not all of it but most of it um, this is me just touching up the balaclava, making it a little more comfortable to wear. Um, so yeah. And I made a Wilfred Wharf stash whilst I was at it. This is me working on the second um, foot. And here we go, day four. It had arrived from one Runaway Workshop, amazing so easy to work with um as you can see i tried to figure out how to use uh, elastic instead of 
balaclava, but you'll see in the future that I ended up just using the balaclava a bit. And these are the eyes that came from Runaway Workshop also. Amazing. Just, I highly recommend them. Highly recommend. Um, and day six. More working on the ears. This is me just making them a little thicker. If I were to make it again, I wouldn't use the foam that I did. And I wouldn't attach them the way I did either. Um, <laughs> this is where you'll see I forgot to vlog every single second of me making this. So you'll see a lot of skips. Here you can see now that all of a sudden both ears are on and I'm gluing the bottom jaw on. Um, those horns aren't actually attached yet, they were just being held in by pins. Um, and then, yeah, this is me trying to figure out how to do a moving jaw, but I gave up on that <laughs> quite quickly. Here's me patterning it. Um, the horns are now glued on at this point. As well as the teeth. Those teeth are actually different to the ones that I finished with because I just didn't like the look of those teeth. Um, so I changed them up. Here's me just showing it off in action. <laughs> um, this was the day that the fur had been ordered. So it was a joyous occasion. Here you go me being lazy because I couldn't decide how to do it. Now this, plaster make. Um, I use this for the teeth as well as what you can see me making right now which is the claws for the feet of which um, at this point in time I'm not sure if I'll be using them for the feet but uh, who knows? I might make them plush claws like I did with the um, hand paws. Um, only time will tell. <laughs> so yeah, basically plaster make you put it in boiling water, pull it out, sculpt it like I am right now, and then you just shove it into some ice cold water. I highly recommend if you are using plastic not to make it too thick because otherwise you don't have much freedom of reboiling it and re-sculpting it. So here's me showing off two of the claws that had already been done. Um, it's a it's a big waiting game too. <laughs> so yeah. <coughs> wow, my throat is not ideal right now. What the heck am I doing? <laughs> My throat is not ideal for recording, but you know, I want to get this out. <laughs> there you go, three claws done. And here they are attached to the feet, but uh, they fell off. Um, as you will see in the future. And fur. The fur is here. Finally. <laughs> it, I also got some pleather because it, you'll see what I use the pleather for in a future thing. Now this fur, I know it's pretty damn cheap, but I was on a budget and I made it work. This is just a whole heap of me fixing up the head. The tongue is actually magnetic. That's the old tongue and old teeth. Um, I changed them later on. As you will see, I also added more lining to the eyes to make them more 3D follow me eyes. And this is me uh, using just acrylic paint 
to paint some of the white uh, long pile fur to do the tuft on his head. Um, it was pretty simple, just brushing. There are a lot of tutorials on that. Um, cheap acrylic paint doesn't cost much to do, um, and it works pretty well. It will fade though. That was my test um, piece. It will fade, but yeah, it's it's paint, so it'll fade. <laughs> Uh, more me sewing, that was me sewing the ears, there's one ear done. Um, again, like, this is my first fursuit. The pleather, as you can see, I used for the horns. Um, and the teeth, the old teeth. And now I'm furring the paws, but... Yeah, like I said, <clears throat> if I were to go back, I wouldn't uh, do the <laughs> do the furring the same way because number one, this was cheap fur, and number two, um, I kind of gave up on using the patterns, um, <laughs> which is not a good idea. Like, don't wing it. Don't do what I did and wing it make those patterns, make them well, and you'll be fine. This is me testing um, some LEDs, uh, which I still need to add to the suit. I want to do that. Here's the new teeth and tongue, um, much better than the last. Uh, so, so much better. <laughs> I also experimented with uh, detachable eyelids. Because why not? I did end up trashing those because they were just tests. Um, and yeah, that's the head done. Here you'll see a bit of me just using it, playing around in it. Pretty great. 10 out of 10. Sits on pretty well. I'm not sure if I show just yet. But the inside and what happened um, but if not I'll just tell you about that this is me um, <laughs> starting the tail now I still haven't finished the tail by the end of this video but in the next part I will have finished the tail and the wings and hopefully the feet <laughs> So, yeah, this is just me sewing on the pink stripe of the tail. And then, this is me not doing that. Now I'm sewing the bottom of the feet paws. And that's my dog, Juice. She is best dog. Give her love in the comments. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is me. I used... I was going to use pleather. Fake leather. For those who don't know. For the bottom of the feet. Oh yes, the terrifying... Um, <laughs> duct tape dummy. And a dog feeding break. <laughs> um, because... You can't just forget about your pets as you're making a fursuit. You need to feed your doggos. <laughs> and who doesn't want to see my dogs getting fed? They are best. But yeah, I was going to use pleather for the bottom of the feet, so it was kind of indoor-outdoor. But um, I messed it up. So I decided to use minky fur instead because I had an abundance of the minky. Um, <laughs> Want to know what my dogs eat? They eat meatballs and dog food. <laughs> A good combination of dry and wet food. There we go. All fed and happy. Now back to sewing. Um...
don't ask me what I'm watching in the comments. Don't don't ask because I'm gonna tell you right now. It is um I believe that's all the mods and it's Yogg's cast. So there you go. Now you don't need to flood the comments with what are you watching? <laughs> um and my phone fell a lot. I couldn't be bothered to cut it out because um you know <laughs> what's the fun in that? Adds a little bit of spice to the not a nothingness that's happening. And falling, 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 falling. <laughs> this is entertaining. Falling, falling, falling. Yep. Now I'm hot gluing on the bottom. Um to the feet. And this is where we come to the end. I am now this is progress of me sewing the arm sleeves. Here's another arm sleeve. Done. And there we go. I will see you guys in part two of this mess. 